Hello everybody, good afternoon. Happy Wednesday everyone. I hope that you can hear me well. I did buy, uh, buy a mic, but of course uh, I can't figure out how it works. Uh, possibly I need some more instructions because it seemed to not work when I tried it a couple times. So I'm gonna, I promise you guys I'm going to work on that. So maybe you can hear me a little bit better. But so far I know it had worked. It had worked <laughs> so far. So let's hope it will work today. And today's uh, message is about expressing your love and adoration of somebody. And this particular way of expression that I would like to talk today is writing love letters. Good old art of writing love letters that is almost uh, forgotten, almost a lost art right now. And I would say that there is no good reason to really lose that. And there is something about written things. There is something about that that give it extra power. And also to the person that's received that, it gives a very special treat. Because in a modern world, we, we send messages, we click, you know, we do the, the emails, uh, you know, voicemails, which is definitely an advantage, but at the same time, when you put a little bit more effort, when you um, take it a little bit higher on the next level and surprise somebody with a real love letter, not just, you know, something very short, like, <laughs> short can be good too, you know, maybe... Uh, a casual thing uh, it's probably could work as well but it's actually takes um, not only time and you have to take a pen <laughs> and paper but love letter take some emotional um, it takes some emotional uh, power or emotional strength to actually do it because if you think about it there are a lot of things that's real easy to say when you see the person it's easy to express sometimes for some people it's harder to express when they see the person if they're intro uh, i think if they're introverted but it takes some focus that's what I, the word i was looking for so to write a love letter it really takes some focus and it takes um, that moment of appreciation where you have to express it, make it in a logical way. And it really takes a little piece of your heart to do that. So when you really um, want to express something to somebody who means a lot for you, that's one of the best way of doing it. And it can really make somebody's day um, months, a year, and sometimes, you know, sometimes it can make, uh, it can make up for many, for a lot of pain and struggles that we go through. I remember a story, uh, that I've heard when I was in Ukraine, I actually had an American friend who just came to visit, and it was a long time ago, I was still in school, and so he, told me that in his family he always was the person he was always a person that would bring gifts for everybody and would do things for everybody on christmas and and so on and so forth he was the one that would always treat he was generous and he would always have they had a big family and for the whole family um he would give this gifts every christmas he would be a santa and you know he just took it to the whole new level but there was no Christmas when he actually received uh, something from anybody. He was always perceived as Santa. He was always Santa of the family. So this one Christmas, and he had no children. He did not have children of his own. I think he was about 40 back then. 
uh, one Christmas, his uh, I think one of his nephew nephews just wrote him uh, a small appreciation letter, and also, you know, it was saying Merry Christmas. It was just a simple little um, love uh, slash Christmas note. And, you know, when he was talking to me about it, he was in tears. He was really in tears. And I have to admit, I didn't fully understand back then why he was so touched by that. I kind of understood, but really not to the depths I understand it right now. So love letter is not always a letter necessarily for me between, uh, you know, men and women who are in love or in a relationship, but it can be to anybody. It can be to anybody you really care about. And uh, often uh, some of you guys tell me, well, Veronica, it's easy for you to talk about this and that. What if I'm not in a relationship with anybody? I just don't have love. I need love and I feel emptiness. And I really uh, <laughs> big believer that if you're looking for love like this on the outer, you don't really um, understand what love really is and how we generate the love from the inside and how we really have to give it if we want to receive it one day sometime uh some you know um a source of love that would would be so appreciated by us first of all we really have to give it we have to keep on giving it to everything around us because it's very hard for um that external source of love to come of us to us when we are uh, in the state of uh, disbelief and denial and all of that. So in order, I uh, in order to to feel it from others, we really have to generously give it. Hello, Michael. Yeah, I just want to say Michael is here. Michael is definitely given love on a daily basis. He is a dad of five children and he takes care of them by himself. So. Uh, definitely love there so I'm very proud of you Michael hello Ricky good to see you guys I'm talking today about expression of love and particularly writing real love letters a lot of Sun today guys we actually have Sun in Michigan so that's that's a perfect day talking about this I'm I'm <laughs> yeah the, the sunlight is you know washing have a sun wash on my face, but I love it. It's beautiful today. So I don't want this making this message too long. I just really want to say that sometimes doing these beautiful things for others are really fulfilling us inside. They really, you know, just think about the joy you're going to get when you know that person on the other you know, on the other side will, you know, get in your love letter. You know, we have in mail we just have advertisement right now and bills that's about it and when you send in something like that you really send a piece of your heart to somebody and you know whether it's family or somebody you are in relationship with you know whoever that might be maybe it's the person that made your day maybe it's somebody you're working with maybe it's your i don't know your therapist maybe it's uh just that person that you feel that they give so much and they have this beautiful soul, but they rarely get noticed. You know, any reason is good. And I think um, this kind of old fashioned things, you know, in a world of digital, you know, click and swipe, I think they make you really stand out. And uh, when you do it, you know, kind of taking the moment and honoring that person and enjoying that you are even able to say thank you. You know, sometimes a person is gone and you never had a chance to tell them how much you care, how much you appreciate them and how much difference they've been making in your life. You know, people don't always warn us when they have to go. And uh, like, for example, today, uh, uh, my son and I, we're going to write a love letter to my son's grandma uh, because I really think that it would make you feel very special she is the person sharing a little bit of my <laughs> personal situation so she is a person my son's grandma she is a person who always gives to others 
and actually it's very happy to it's, it's very hard sometimes to to make a gift to her because she has this message that i don't need anything i know don't bother and people take it literally she is just not used to and but i have to say also she kind of in a way does not allow that to happen because um it's just somehow her style of denial so we do need to be in a receiving mode to uh inspire or allow others to to actually uh do things for us so that is for maybe for another conversation but i really feel that it's connected with that um so yes uh we're gonna get some new markers today and that's our little project we're gonna write a, a love letter to to her because she's uh very caring and she loving uh my my son very much but she doesn't get a lot of recognition you know it's just so crazy uh, i don't know if my family will ever watch this video but i'm just saying how it is it's almost like she helps everybody behind the scenes but um there is not very much coming her way. There are definitely people who do love her. So yes, Ricky says it's like his grandma. Yeah, I believe that. So, you know, especially guys with older people, sometimes it's 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 hard. Um, I mean, sometimes we have conflicts in the family, you know, but we always need to remember that we need to um, honor them. For example, in Russian and Ukrainian culture, we have very strict um, staying for, for elderly. I see how sometimes here in the family, kids talk to their grandparents and I freeze. In, in my culture, it's impossible. I mean, there are spoiled kids also. Let, let me not to, to just say, oh, you know, it's perfect over there. No, it's not. But um, in many families, you not allowed you just you just can't imagine you know be not respectful to your grandmother it's everywhere the way you talk the way you you know just it's considered extremely inappropriate you you know it's kind of respect to elderly kind of thing so but of course guys um we mostly talk we talk a lot about uh personal relationship about uh couples and i think sometimes when we say things we remember them sometimes oops somebody's calling me okay apologize so sometimes um when we say things it also can make somebody someone's day but i think when we also write them sometimes especially when we are in a couple or, or in a relationship uh, either it's close uh, or long distance I can't stress it enough how wonderful it is. And I would like to also, guys, attach a little bit of a tip here for you. A lot of you guys reaching out to me and you asking me about your relationship overseas with Russian or Ukrainian lady or Belarusian. <laughs> some some people told me, why do you leave uh, people from Belarus out? No, I, ju I just consider them Russian. But so when you do that when you are you try to understand is it a real relationship is it not and one of the things uh, i know sometimes you you support you send maybe some gifts some money that's a different conversation in a real relationship that's a normal thing to do but the reaction of your uh, lady when she received just a love letter the, there might be no uh physical uh gifts you know but expression of your feelings and things she, what reaction she has says a lot about relationships because if she is only materialistically interested she'll be extremely disappointed to get a piece of paper but <laughs> if she is um seeing you as an important part of her life if she can't wait to be with you if she is uh you know going strong and brave through the long distance relationship your love letter will definitely make her day, her week, her months, and I don't know, maybe all her life she will save that letter because it it means so much uh, to see that uh, you you did something like that. So just a little tip here, a little practical tip. 
uh, if she is extremely, I mean, if she is all overflowing and happy and excited that she got this, you know, something special, uh, like in a letter, just it, it will tell you a lot. It will tell you that she, she really does have feelings for you. So that's one of those things. But it's for guys uh, who are in a real relationship. So I think uh, that is my main message today about that. Um, I think, um, I mean, I hope that it will give you uh, some perspective, especially I think in a relationship when it's overseas, we think, oh, it will, gonna go, it, it will be in the mail forever. It's so long to wait for it. Oh, I just gonna click an email or I, I will send a card. You know, even flowers now, some men just say flower, send flowers to you in this, uh, in the messages, like, you know, the uh, pictures of flowers and it's like, this is so lame because you know if you are considering yourself you know this this man with a big letter m you you are capable of actually sending real thing and step up above all the regular guys you know all the regular guys that just like everybody else trying to get an attention from a lady instead of bringing something to her you know in all the ways in emotional uh, in uh, expression was, uh, you know, whatever you can <laughs> send in a package. By the way, I have to mention something today. I'm not going to say who it is, but one of my uh, wonderful men subscribers, he does most amazing things for his lady, um, which is right now in long distance relationship. I hope, um, I don't think that he would be minding me uh, sharing that. Uh, he actually bakes uh like some some does some bakery and and add some other little things and sends it to her in a package but you know overseas but the whole point of actually taking it to the level when you bake it with your own hands you know that would be one thing if he would just go and buy uh some treat and i think it's also beautiful but it's literally almost made me cry when um I've heard about this. I I almost could not believe it. I was, I, I had to stop for a minute. So he would bake something uh, delicious, something that male can handle, of course, but he would do it and send it to her um, in a box. I thought that it was absolutely amazing and very, very old fashioned and absolutely uh, heartwarming, heart touching. I don't know how else to say it. So. Yes, you know, when we make a day of somebody else, we really have way more purpose in life and it really cures uh, the pain and so-called depression. Uh, that's another video is coming on that, on so-called depression, you know, not real depression, but what we call here in the US. Um, so when we add this, purpose of making uh, people smile but at the same time we really express we, we really learn by doing this we learn how to generate love inside of us you know the electricity we have in our house it's not just you know it's not just there it's generated somewhere and it then it comes to us so I think same with love to generate more love inside of us we need to give more love. We need to express love in different ways. Yes, there might be some people that maybe don't care for for necessarily letters. Maybe they only want a call or they love flowers or they love all of the above. But the more we express, the more we take effort and focus to make a quality acknowledgement, a quality expression, um, the more we warm other people's hearts uh, the more we we generate this love love surrounding us, and the better we feel. So that is my message. The shortcut isn't always the best thing, as we right now all guilty of shortcuts and and you know uh, the clicks and uh, <laughs> all these fast fast things. Sometimes it's nice to take uh, a long way, uh, you know, long ride. 
thank you guys have a wonderful afternoon i hope that your day is going just as beautiful as mine and i will see you very soon